everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. And today I'm back with a bit of a catch up video. So where have I been, what have I been doing, what have I been sewing, what have I been buying, what have I been loving? Let's just have a little bit of a catch up. So should we start off with what I am wearing? This is actually hot off the sewing machine. It was finished this morning. I am going to do a separate video. I'm actually going to do a pattern review video of this make where I go into lots of detail because there's some things that I want to say about it. But I'll just show you what it is. So this is the Malibu shirt by Stay Stitch Pattern Company. I shared this in my recent video, which was five pattern releases that I'm loving right now. And this was the very first one. So it's this lovely little shirt. You've got a collar here. There's no buttons or anything, so it comes down here. I've just got like a little bralette on underneath, so if you keep seeing a little peek of that, that's what it is. I'd probably wear this with a little vest top underneath, but the vest top that I want, which is like a cream ivory colour, is in the wash at the moment. So I've just popped a little bralette on. And then it's got these two pockets on the front with pocket flaps. These are optional, you don't have to put those on. It's got these mock cuffs here. And then it's got this little, what looks like a twist, but it's not actually a twist here. And it comes up quite high, as you can see, it's quite cropped. And then it's just quite loose and boxy at the back. So yes, I absolutely love the finished result. I didn't love all of the sewing process, but I will explain that in my review video. But I love the finished result and I will be making another one quite soon. I think I might make another one before I then review the pattern, just so that I've given it a really thorough going over before I talk about it. The fabric is this incredible viscose linen blend from First for Fabrics. So we've just uploaded I think 10 different designs last week and they're beautiful so they're 12.95 a meter which is a great price for viscose linen they are 30 percent linen and 70 percent viscose and this one is the design called emily and i just love it you can see that slub linen texture there but i just love the like, marble effect of this design i think it's really really lovely so yes that is what i'm wearing my earrings are sapphire frills as usual and I'm loving, I'm loving the vibe today. So where have I been? I have had quite a busy two or three weeks now. As you probably know, myself, Ruan and Rachel went to Leeds together at the start of the month. So we had a lovely day in Leeds. I had a nightmare journey home on the train. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but other than that, we had an absolutely fabulous day. We had some lovely food, drinks, fabric shopping which I'll share with you very soon and it was just a really really lovely day those days just fly over with those two I love spending time with my girls and every time the time just goes far too fast which is a shame but we can look forward to the next time then after that we went off to a music festival so myself and Sam and Taylor went to Cropperty Festival which is the Fairport Convention music festival it's in Oxfordshire and we go every year it's actually where Sam and I met and Sam's dad so my father-in-law is in Fairport Convention so we obviously go and have a lovely time there every year and it's Taylor's second time and he absolutely loved it it was great obviously having a three-year-old at a festival isn't the easiest or most relaxing of things but we did have an amazing time and just to see him having fun dancing just really enjoying it was wonderful and somehow the weather held up considering how bad the weather has been for the rest of the month we had really good weather for the weekend which was such a relief oh just to mention when I was at Cropperty I actually bumped into the lovely Katie who is the little walking foot she's got a YouTube channel so I'll link to that down below and Katie came over and said hi which was really really nice I was in the middle of dealing with a little bit of a wild tailor because he'd had quite a long nap in the buggy we'd I'd pushed him round and round the village just to get him to have a really good nap because he was tired I think he'd slept for about two hours so then he'd just woken up and had all of this energy and I was chasing around after him around the different stalls looking at things and he was trying hats on and 
Katie came up to me at that point. <laughs> so I might have looked a little bit frazzled, Katie. I'm really sorry if I did, but it was really nice to say hi. So in the run up to going to Crop Ready Festival, I decided to sew a few bits and bobs for that. Not for me, but for Taylor, for Sam, and also as decoration. <laughs> so I wanted to sew up some bunting that we could use to decorate our gazebo with. Now, bit of a bugbear we didn't actually end up putting the gazebo up. So the bunting never actually went up. So I spent that time making it and making a lot of bunting is quite a boring task, I have to say. And it didn't end up getting used, but it's there for next time. <laughs> I also sewed up a bucket hat for Sam. So he wanted an Oxford United football club bucket hat so he dug out one of his old football shirts and I cut it up basically and made it into a bucket hat for him but it turned out so so well he loved it he wore it the whole weekend and I'm really really happy with it and I think I might do that again I also decided to sew up a few things for Taylor he I felt really needed some new trousers so I went on a little bit of a mission and I actually sewed up seven pairs of trousers for him I used the lightning leggings pattern by Waves and Wild which is a free pattern I sewed that up loads for Taylor when he was a lot younger when he was a baby and I always used the slim fit or trim fit I can't remember what, how it's described in the pattern but they're like the skinny version of the leggings so that's what I did this time I cut out a skinny fit pair tried them on him and they were just so so tight he wasn't happy in them they were too small so I thought I'll try the relaxed fit because actually they fit quite well on the waist and on the cuffs but they were just too tight in the legs so I decided to go for the relaxed fit and I tried those on him and they were absolutely perfect so then I whizzed up seven pairs and those trousers come together so quickly they are just a really really fast and easy make great for beginners because they're just super super easy so yeah seven pairs of new trousers for Taylor and he's been wearing them non-stop so most of the fabrics I used were from first for fabrics and the pattern said for the size that I made which was a size three said that I needed 70 centimetres I actually only needed half a meter so I know I can get a pair of trousers out of half a meter of fabric for Taylor which is awesome all of the fabrics were cotton spandex jerseys so 95% cotton and 5% spandex and he's just got a really gorgeous range of trousers now to choose from so I was really really happy with that and so was he and then since getting back from the festival I had a lot of things on my mind that need to be done I've got some pattern testing coming up that needs to be done I've got Northern soul sisters things that need to be done and I've got all of my cut out projects which as you know is a lot but I decided to just ignore all of that <laughs> and sew this up instead so you know that's what I've been sewing up this week I started it at my social on Wednesday and I finished it last night and this morning and I'm really glad I did I just needed to do that just forget about everything else ignore the overwhelm and just get something like this done, which I'm really pleased I did. So should we have a look at some of the things that I've been picking up recently? These aren't gonna be in any particular order, but I think I will actually start with what I got when we were in Leeds. So when we go to Leeds, we always head to B&M. We really, really love that fabric shop. The owner's really lovely. We always chat a lot to her and they always have a really great selection of things at great prices they have quite a lot of the same stock as we do at first for fabrics but they have some other stuff as well so i was able to pick up quite a few nice bits and pieces so let's see what there is in here so i saw this beautiful sea life cotton and as you might know taylor absolutely loves anything sea creature related so I just had to have that I just got half a meter of that I thought it might become a bucket hat for him actually it probably will because he loves his bucket hats that I make and that will just make an absolutely beautiful one so yes just half a meter of that then I got I think I got a meter and a half of this viscose I couldn't resist this actually I didn't have this in my pile at all until right at the end and when you're waiting to have your fabric cut You've got all of these rows of fabric, all of the viscose is just underneath there where you're standing. And I just kept looking at it and looking at it and I couldn't stop. So I got this one, which I really, really like. 
So it's just got all these leaves on in different directions and the colours are purple, pink, yellow, there's some brown and grey. And I actually bought that with this pattern in mind, so it may become this or it may become something else. But I just really, really like that. I think I got a metre and a half of that just so I did have enough for this shirt. Then I couldn't resist this one. This is another viscose and it's just this incredible tie-dye design. Ah, oh, isn't it stunning? So I got this with the Suncatcher dress pattern in mind, which is by Handmade Millennial. I shared that in my top five pattern releases video. And this is actually really, really similar to one of the promotional photos for that pattern. I just thought it was stunning. I mean, I feel like we're already heading into autumn here in the UK, so I don't know how seasonally appropriate this is, but never mind. The next thing that I picked up was this, which I think was a linen cotton blend or like a canvas. I can't remember. But anyway, I just wanted half a metre of this to use for a bag. I was thinking the Harrelson belt bag, but actually I'm about to talk about another bag pattern and it might become that instead so I just wanted half a meter of this but then this was all that was left so she just gave me it all for the price of a meter which is amazing so for the price of a half meter and there's over a meter there which is amazing so I just really like that one I really like the colors and I really liked the abstract design and I think that'll be awesome for a bag the other bits and bobs I got were all bag making supplies. So as you know, I want to make the Harrelson belt bag. I've got the pattern. So I got some beautiful webbing that I thought would be perfect for it. And then I also got this webbing again, which I thought would make a really nice bag strap. Oh, uh, this is all of the, like the hardware. So the D-rings and the little clasp things, all of the bits and bobs that I need. So that was everything I got at B&M. Then we went over to Samuel Taylor and I wasn't really gonna get anything in there, but I saw some pirate themed cotton <laughs> and Taylor's really obsessed with pirates and Swashbuckle in particular, which is a program on BBC iPlayer. So I got him half a meter of this one because I thought it was really cute. So it could be a bucket hat, it could be something else. I don't know, like a little cushion or something like that, a reading cushion. But I just, it was too cute to resist. So I got that. And I also got some interfacing, which I need for a secret project that I can't tell you about. <laughs> then upstairs in Samuel Taylor's, I also got a couple of other bits because I saw this webbing, which I thought was really, really cute. So I thought it was just good to have a little stash of that for bag making. And then I saw this adorable little tea motif. So I thought I would iron that onto a jumper or something for Taylor. So yes, that was all of my Leeds purchases. The other thing that I came back with from Leeds was another piece of fabric that my gorgeous Rachel gifted to me. So when we were at Rachel's a couple of months ago, I spotted this fabric on her shelf and I was like, oh my goodness, that is incredible. Where's it from? Da, 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 da. Well, anyway, I never ended up buying it. And then lo and behold, Rachel comes to Leeds and gives me this fabric, which is an incredible viscose. Obviously I love it because of the tie dye and the colors are incredible. It, it turns out Rachel had actually bought this twice and had it in her stash twice. So she gave me one of the pieces. So thank you so much, Rachel. I love it. No firm plans for that just yet, but it's incredible. Ah, oh, I don't know. Maybe if I measure it up, you know, in my five patterns video, which I've talked about loads of times in this video, I mentioned the Tate Romper by Small Museum. How amazing would that be as a Tate romper? Hmm. I'll have to see if I've got enough. So yes, that was all of the things I came back with from Leeds. Then let's have a little look at some other bits and bobs. 
So at my social on Wednesday, we'd had a little donation of some books and some fabrics um, from a house clearance. And this was one of the fabrics and I just couldn't resist it because the colours are just my colours. I love blue, I love teal. And it's like a, like almost like a viscose or it might, it might have polyester content, I don't know, but it feels beautifully soft. And I think there's about a metre I just thought that would be perfect for a little top. I could maybe get a Donny shirt out of it. I could get a little camisole top. I just really, really like that one. So I picked that up. I also placed an order with Bornella Fabrics, who I've never ordered from before, but they had 20% off a couple of weeks ago. And I saw this viscose linen and I just absolutely loved it. And I bought this with this pattern in mind. I'm definitely going to make this in this fabric. So it's just this one. It's got this lovely floral design, loads of teal and blue. And as I've just said, those are my colours. So I think I've got a metre and a half of that, which is perfect for this shirt. I also actually, while I was placing that order, got the Generates Silicon Hot Hemmer, which is this. So I've been using a hot hemmer for quite a while now, which is the Clover one. It's this one, which is more like a felt kind of material and it's a bit stiffer. This one by Jen is a silicon one and it's got all of these holes in. So it's got lots of different measurements on. So it's got half a centimeter, a centimeter, two, three. And you can use this on your tailor's ham, which is amazing. You can, because it's obviously flexible, so you can use it on your tailor's ham. You can use it to pin through these holes or to mark through these holes with a fabric marker. And you can use it for pressing up your hems, obviously. So, and it takes the heat from the iron with it being a hot hemmer. So yes, I thought while that was 20% off as well, I would purchase that. And I was using that yesterday and the day before for this shirt and I've absolutely loved it so far. So would definitely recommend that. I ordered a fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. So I had this arrive with my subscription box, but I had to show you it. It's a beautiful cotton jersey. Again, this is with Taylor in mind. It's under the sea, it's jellyfish and clownfish and starfish and it's just absolutely beautiful. I just got a metre of that one and Taylor would like some pyjamas and also a t-shirt, he said. So I'll see how much I can get out of this metre. I mean, I would love it if there was a little bit left for me, but I don't think there will be. I think that's all going to be for Taylor. So I was on Instagram one day and Emma, who is Crafty Clyde on Instagram, she is super lovely she loves turtles and she actually sent me some labels a little while ago which say totally amazing and they're just the cutest thing ever so she had in her instagram stories that she was de-stashing some fabric and it was this one it's a viscose with lurex from beyond the pink door now i actually already have this i had a meter and a half of this already that i purchased a while ago but i hadn't used it yet well emma was then de-stashing two and a half meters of it for a bargain price so i messaged her and said is that still available and she said yes and i snapped it up so i've now got two and a half meters plus one and a half meters of this beautiful fabric and i'm thinking of using this for a pattern that i'm testing at the moment for size me sewing i think it'll make an amazing whatever it is that i'm sewing sorry that's secretive but then also in my parcel from emma she sent the most adorable little key ring with a turtle on it how gorgeous is that so i think i might put that on taylor's like school backpack i think you'll love that so thank you emma that was amazing are we nearly there <laughs> i when i was in leeds picked up some woven interfacing now so many patterns that we sew call for interfacing and the interfacing that you tend to get in most shops is quite papery it's quite cheap ish and it usually comes in like light medium and firm but it's like a papery texture and it can make your garments feel quite stiff i find and i don't always find that they actually fuse that well it peels off it's not that great well anyway i've wanted some woven interfacing for ages but i hadn't found anywhere to get it from I saw it in B&M, they had it in medium weight, so I bought white medium weight from B&M 
and I used it on Sam's bucket hat and oh my goodness, just the difference in using a woven interfacing. So it feels like fabric rather than paper and it's just beautiful. It's obviously a little bit pricier, but it just, I loved working with it and it made the garment or the hat that I was making just feel incredible. So I went into work and I spoke to Julie about it and I asked if we could get it in so we have so we've now got it in light and medium weight in white and black so i've just got some white and some black here to show you so it's available in store at first for fabrics at the moment and it will be up online really soon but it's just so much nicer than the papery kind i took this to my social on wednesday and the ladies were loving it and I used it on this shirt for my collar and it feels just so much nicer and it fuses properly. It doesn't peel off. So that's the white one. And then I also got some of the black just to have in my stash. So I've always got it. So yes, if you haven't tried woven interfacing yet, then get involved because it makes a massive difference. Yes, a little bit pricier, but I think absolutely worth it. And then the last thing to share with you is another piece of fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. They had a drop about four weeks ago. And as soon as I saw this fabric, I had to have it. There was a couple of others that I was tempted by, but I decided just to go for one. And I can't remember if I got three or four meters of this, but you'll recognize it because everyone has got this fabric. It's really, really beautiful. So it's this viscose and it's incredible and I've got it upside down. So what I've wanted to point out about this fabric that I discovered this morning that I didn't realise and I haven't heard anybody else mention this so I just don't know if anyone's not realised yet or they just didn't think it was worth mentioning but the print on this fabric actually runs the opposite way to normal so usually your print would run parallel to the self edges but with this, it actually runs perpendicular to your self edges. So here is one of my self edges. Yeah, and my cut end is up here and my cut ends at the bottom. To get the print to actually run in the correct direction, you've got to turn it that way. So you've got to turn it 90 degrees. So the print all runs. Can you see you've got the pineapple there? You've got this person you've got a tiger somewhere there and they all run in that direction so it just means that when I'm cutting this out I'm gonna have to cut all of my pattern pieces perpendicular to the selvage does that make sense I was thinking of making the suncatcher dress by handmade millennial and it might just impact that I'm hoping I'll still have enough because I've got either three or four meters I can't remember how much and the width of the fabric is like 140 wide I think so it should be okay but it's just worth bearing in mind if you have got this fabric don't just jump in and you know fold your fabric and cut everything out that way because then your prints all going to be horizontal rather than the correct way up beautiful beautiful fabric there's a the tiger there it is and Rachel's got this, Ruan's got this, lots of lovely people that I've been watching on YouTube have also got this. It's a stunning, stunning fabric. So yes, I'm hoping it can be the Suncatcher dress or I might switch it up and make something else. Who knows? If you've got any suggestions, do leave them down below. Right, that was mammoth. In terms of plans that I've got coming up, I'm going to be working on some Northern Soul Sisters projects and also some pattern tests, as I mentioned. I'm also going to be getting started on my dress for frock tails. We've got Scottish frock tails coming up at the end of September and I need to get my dress made for that. So I'm going to be working on those things. I'll keep you updated as I go along and I'll reveal information about the pattern tests as and when I can. I have purchased a pattern this week and I just wanted to share that with you and it's actually a bag pattern and it's the long-awaited and anticipated first pattern release from Blackbird Fabrics. So they have now started releasing patterns and they've been talking about this on the Love to Sew podcast for a while now and I've been really excited about what they're going to bring out and their first pattern release is a bag and it's called the Bestie Bag which I just think is the cutest name. So it says 
From everyday errands to life's greatest adventures, this bag will be your new cute sidekick. The Bestie bag is a banana shaped carry-all companion with four different views, so you can tailor its size, straps and pockets to suit your needs and style. If everyday wear is what you're after, view A and B are your best bet, medium sized with an optional flat or pleated front. To have your bestie fit for adventure, the larger views C and D are sure to have enough space for all of your on the go necessities. No matter which size you choose, you'll be able to wear it cross body or as a shoulder bag with a sturdy webbing or fabric strap with or without hardware. Equipped with a zip enclosure to keep everything safe, your cute new sidekick awaits and it's aimed at confident beginners. I just really love the shape of this and I really wanted to support Blackbird Fabrics in their new venture. So I picked it up. It was 25% off for the first few days. That might have ended by the time you see this video, but it's only £9 as a standard price anyway, which I think is really great for a PDF download. Yes. I loved it so hopefully I'll be able to make that very soon. The other thing I just wanted to mention before I go is a YouTube channel that I've really been enjoying watching and I actually had the pleasure of meeting this person as well last week. So it's the lovely Sam from So Let's Sparkle with Sam. I've been watching her channel for a little while now and I love her videos, I love the content she puts out, I love her style and the way that she presents and she actually came up to First for Fabrics last week and we got to meet and chat and it was really really lovely. So if you haven't already watched Sam do go over and give her channel a watch and subscribe. You'll really enjoy her videos I'm absolutely sure. Right I'm going to leave it there now. I've got a few things to get on with this afternoon so I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully I haven't rambled too much and you've enjoyed having a little catch up with me. Thank you all so much for watching today. If you have enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe, please do. I am loving having all of you here on my little YouTube journey. And I recently hit 12,000 subscribers, which was an incredible achievement and made me very happy. So thank you. So yes, if you don't subscribe, then why not? Please do. <laughs> I hope you're all really, really well. And I'll see you again soon in my next video. Happy sewing. Bye. We didn't actually end up putting the goo. We didn't. E Why can't I say that? I used the lightning leggings. I can't talk today. And I, I think I am actually definitely going to make that sentence didn't make sense.